This weekend, student-run radio station WSND hosted Radiothon and partnered with the Foundation for Music and Healing, a local nonprofit organization seeking to provide music instruction and exposure to individuals in the Mishawaka area experiencing mild to severe disabilities. Today, I spoke with WSND manager Killian Vidurik to learn more about the event and WSND's engagement with the local community. My name is Killian Vidurik. I am the station manager for WSND FM. That means I kind of help things run along in the station. Uh, I've been with the station for four years, and I kind of wanted to do a little bit more of this here, make it a little bit more involved, get more student involvement, because I think the club is a perfect representation of like students and community members coming together. We have community members who do some shows, some long-time community members who've been doing shows for 20 plus years, honestly, and some new student announcers who just started this year. So it's a great way to like blend the Tawny Domer relationships together. So this real, goal of mine as the year being station manager was to create an event that brought us all together and that kind of came in the form of Radiothon, a way to give back to the South Bend Foundation for Music and Healing and it was just it really honestly feels like a culmination of my time with WSMD so I'm really could not be more proud and happy how it all turned out. That's awesome um, and I, I going off of that can you talk a little bit about the um, the charity that you guys partnered with for Radiothon and kind of what they do and why that was so important to WSMD as an organization? Yeah, I knew I knew we wanted to do something to give back to a charity. I knew I wanted to do something to give back to music because music education is being poorly disfunded lately. Uh, it's been over the last twenty years, so I knew I wanted like trying to give back to music because music music's done so much for me. I'm a music major here. I'm trying to go to music full time. I came to Notre Dame just to do music here, so it's been such an important part of my life. Um, and then we knew we heard about someone on the on my board, Owen Fay. He heard about this organization foundation we want to call it in town called the foundation for music and healing run by dr chris robinson who got a phd in sociology from Notre dame back in the 80s actually was uh, advised by father ted hesberg to create this sort of foundation that kind of blended music therapy with traditional music education like lessons piano guitar and it really is a unique foundation in the way it blends it and the way that it's under like people aren't aware of it in town. So we wanted to create something that would give them the finances they needed because they, he's taken a hit since the pandemic. He uh, hasn't had a paycheck in over a year and they work with kids on the spectrum, autism, uh, blind kids, deaf kids, kids with disabilities, kids with abilities. It's, it's a wide gamut of people he works with to give them music education as a kind of a way to, to hardwire their brain. So it's in a really great fit for us as, as an organization. They were severely underfunded over the last year. Dr. Chris Robinson could not have been kinder. Um, it just make a perfect way for us to donate and to have the Notre Dame connection all the while. Father Hesburg and he's working with South Bend. It's just perfect fit for us. In addition to Killian, I sat down with current students to gauge the Radiothon reception on campus. The charity for me, at least, it um, it was one that was close to home because I have a little sister and she has found she has special needs and she has found a lot of healing in music therapy growing up and still does it. And um, so when I heard that, I was just happy to donate. I think I think the gist is just that we love the foundation, we love WSND, and we love the Radiothon. Yeah, yeah. Thanks to this year's team at WSND Student Radio, this year's Radiothon was able to make a meaningful impact on the local Mishawaka community, bringing in eleven thousand dollars for the Foundation of Music and Healing. For NDTV, I'm Sam Epic.